Okay, I know this looks sus, but give me a minute and I'll explain everything. So, to anyone that saw part one of this video will know that we've gone from looking like that to looking like this. And as impossible as it may seem from the way that the last one went, this has actually happened. For context, my current run of Elden Ring only allows me to put points into dexterity. And if you haven't seen part one, go, go watch that shit, man. What are you doing watching part two when you haven't even seen part one? That makes no sense. What the fuck? So, picking up where we left off after getting bummed dry by the Draconic Tree Sentinel 65 times, I hatched a plan to take this build, just like your nan's blow is when she takes her teeth out, from a 4 to a solid 10. So, the first thing I did was go back to Rey Lucaria to grab the Glintstone Crown, which raises my intelligence by 2 points. After that, it was up to get the Intelligence Not Crystal Tear, which, when mixed into the Flask of Wondrous Physic, raises our intelligence by a further 10. Pair those two things with Godric's Great Room, which raises every stat by 5, and we have got enough intelligence to wield the fucking moon veil. Now all I had to do was go and get it, which should be pretty easy, right? The only problem is I didn't know where to get it. So I consulted Callum, my personal Elden Ring encyclopedia and law master. And he was like, oh shit, to get the moon veil, you're going to have to go sort that out with fucking Rani. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, that quest line sucked. Wait, does that mean I'm going to have to fight? And Callum was like, yeah, you're going to have to fight. And I was like, shit. And yep, you guessed it. He was talking about the one, the only, the Scar Sturge Radan. But don't worry, because I had a plan for that too. First thing I did, went back to the start of the game to get a short bow, upgraded that shit at the round table hole to as much as I could. And here we are at Castle Red, Red, May, Red, Red. It's a, it's a castle. Spoke to that motherfucker and he was like, you want to you wanna help us fight this big guy? And I was like, fuck, yes. Yeah, I want to hear zero comments about my strategy for fighting this guy, okay? Everyone knows he sucks and I'm still technically following the rules. I haven't upgraded anything that isn't dexterity. So, it's fine. My plan was to run around and spam the summons whilst every so often hitting him with an arrow. And to be honest, it worked pretty well. What you're seeing right now is the first attempt. Although it took like three days to do, we actually got him down pretty low. And as you can see, he killed us on one HP. I want to die. Yeah, but it So it took like three or four attempts, and uh, the one that you're looking at right now probably took, I don't know, 20 minutes. A long time of just running around on a horse and hoping the summon signs come back. But we all know how it's done at this point. Only thing is, people normally don't use a bow, so I'm actually helping probably more than the average Elden Ring player. Employing the same strategy, we killed him, which is great. Because fuck that guy. And I've done it. No summons at all. There's none of them about. Purely on horseback with a bow and hope. Absolutely That's smashed it. That I'm hearing coming out shut of up, mouth. shut up, shut that up. Is... <laughs> anyway, now I've been through the sheer pain and anxiety of the Radan fight. My soul is crushed and my dreams are tarnished, but I can now go speak to Rani, but... Wait. I wanted to double check where you got the moon veil from. I googled it. From a fucking magma worm fight. The all-knowing fucking encyclopedia man got that shit wrong. And I still haven't told him that he got it wrong. And he's going to find out by watching this video. Piece of shit. <laughs> we went and killed the worm, and what's great about watching the footage of the worm fight is that at this point in the game, I can still take more than one hit. Look how fucking fabulous that is. I miss that. So now that we had everything that we needed to be overpowered as fuck, I went back to the Draconic Tree Sentinel fighting grounds, activated my one and only great rune, and got fucked up. I had to go back to the round table hall to buy four more great runes, which meant that we had four more attempts at fighting this guy. Four great runes and no progress later. I just decided to go get some smithing stones to upgrade the Uji Katana. And what's weird about that is I spent like fucking three days grinding shit, be able to use the Moon Veil. And I'll let the clip speak for itself. Piece of shit, jumping around like some kind of sick cunt. Fuck you, buddy. Ah, my asshole is at least half an inch in diameter slacker than it was at the start of that. Now that I've finally made it into the capital, there's something we need to get that's really important for the build. But before that is the Godfrey fight, which we actually managed to do on the second attempt. Everyone knows that Godfrey's first phase is like the easiest thing in the world to avoid. And with this pathetic, piss-coloured, spectral version of himself, he doesn't have the bullshit earthquake, rip your fucking dick in half moves. So it's pretty easy, to be honest. 
Obviously, Unsheath came in clutch, as always. So, you know, I mentioned earlier there was a weapon that I needed to get from the capital. Before I tell you what it is, I'm going to tell you how the idea came about. So, as usual, me and Cal are playing hell divers, right? Absolute chaos. You know, typical Friday night behavior. <laughs> And all of a sudden, the encyclopedia I've only ever had sex with man. Oh, you know, lightning scales up decks. No, come on. <laughs> and then boom, spear of lightning. The only problem is we don't actually have the statistics to be able to use it yet. Although you can half a weapon strength requirements by putting it in two hands so you can still use the weapon art, I didn't even have enough strength to use it in two hands. So I dropped down to the bottom of the capital to grab the omen smirk mask, which raises your strength by two. Just in case, I also grabbed the Strength Not Crystal tier to raise our strength by 10 when mixed into the Flask of Wondrous Physic. I also threw in the tier for extra lightning, and we upgraded the Bolt of Grand Sacks to level 3. Went and zapped the shit out of this twat, used the runes that fell out of him to get Dex to 66, which is just stupid. Okay, so we all know what comes next. It's the Morgoth fight. And I know what you're thinking. Ah, this is easy. You're fucking wrong, all right? You are wrong, and I don't care who you are or where you come from. This fight can suck six dicks. This fight is the first of many where I'm unfortunately going to disappoint a lot of people. And you're probably going to hear me say it a couple more times. Losing my sanity right. is not Don't worth 30 want. views on a YouTube video. You considered uninstalling, bro. After about an hour of trying to fight this guy and losing, I summoned Melina to help me. Uh, I was live streaming at this point, so don't worry. Chat made sure to tell me how much of a piece of shit I am. This is going well, though. She's hitting the, sh she's hitting the shit out of me. Aggro is on her. Big throw there. Go after her. Go after her. Okay. This, we seem safe here. This is good. This is good. Look, she's actually hitting him. This could be a win. This could be a win. Go again. Drink. Drink. I don't know what he's doing over there, but this is great for us. He dodged it. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck. This is our last portion. If we have to get physical with this guy, we have fucked it. One more. This is it. You need to uninstall, motherfucker. You uninstall. Nice. M mountain tops of the fucking giants. Here we come. Look at you, you hideous, shriveled little demigod piece of shit. You fucking yee. Here we are, mountain tops of giants. It's snowy as dicks, and we're ready to go. I had a quick chat with this geezer just to see what was going on, and some guy in the chat was like, oh, you should definitely kill him and take his armor. And I'm not about to start arguing with people. So, uh... Spell. You little bitch. Ooh. After that humongous sack of fecal excrement was dead, and I was wearing the clothes that he left this realm in, I went to this gaff to kill this guy, put my stone key in this stone hall, and picked up this smaller piece of stone that makes my lightning stronger. It also makes me take more damage, which doesn't really matter that much when everything deletes you from existence with one slap anyway. With an elemental lightning rock on the size of a small motor vehicle, and the confidence of the biggest dick in the locker room, I ran through the entirety of the mountaintop of the giants, not fighting a single thing until I got to the grace point just outside the boss room. You remember earlier when I said there was going to be a few disappointing bits? This is one of them. But I won't disappoint you without justifying it. The first 10 attempts of this fight was a mixture of lightning and the Uji Katana in and amongst a, a flurry of different armor and talisman combinations. And I'll be honest with you, nothing was working. Every attack he's got kills me in one hit. And even if I did manage to get him to his second phase, I ended up doing some shit like this. Even on a regular run, I feel like the biggest issue with this particular altercation is the Fire Giant stonking 40,000 point health pool. For the first and last time this run, I call for backup from another player. I know, I know. Trust me, I'm way more embarrassed about this than you are. So if we could just forget about it and move on. Fire Giant's dead. Good to go. By a nothing but pure grit and determination, I instant transmission to Farah Missoula. And this is where it hit me. We are in the fucking endgame, ladies and gentlemen, and this shit is for real. In this location, we had two bosses to fight, both of which gave me anxiety and testicles so shriveled, you might as well start calling me Alexandra. One being the Godskin duo, and two being Malaketh, the ever-living shit stain. So we all know what Farah Missoula looks like. There's dragons, there's tornadoes, there's a lot of traversal, there's birds, there's red lightning, you know, all that kind of shit. So here we are at the Godskin duo fight. To be honest with you, the Godskin duo fight really wasn't as much of an issue as I thought it was going to be. 
And that is purely because of how tanky this NPC is. At this point, I'm 90% sure he's got a bigger health pool than the fire giant. I didn't want to use the sleeping pots bullshit, so I summoned his ass in and used him as a meat shield while I threw lightning and stood on the broken pillars to avoid Mr. Fucking Gotta Go Fast. Okay, but now I'll go. Dude, help me. Jump attack. Get him. Get him. Fuck yeah, we got him. Okay. This this has made life potentially way easier. Look at this. Okay, go get him. Go get him, motherfucker. Go get him. Go get him! <laughs> Do I don't stand by me! Go get the guy! Please! <laughs> Please! Yes! Yes! Right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He's got the aggro. And we've still got potions. This could be it. Skinny one is looking away. He's dropped. He's down. But now, get him. Get him. Yes. Okay. 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 Shit. 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 No. 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 <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Oh shit. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Uh, this one clip was hit. taken from one a stream because I forgot need. to save the footage like a fuck. And I want to take a minute to thank the main man, the Sandy, for being there to cheer me on because this was fucking dope. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Woo! After the Godskin duo fight was Malekith. And as everybody knows, he is a big fuck. I fucking hate that guy. I'm going to be honest. As I was traversing through Farrah Missoula, I was like, there's no fucking way that I'm going to actually be able to beat this guy. He his, his first phase is fucking super easy. Like, he chucks some rocks, he does some earth stuff, he does a jump, you know, that kind of shit. Uh, but when his second phase comes out, it's fucking game over for everyone. Uh, so I knew I knew that it was going to be fucking solid. Similar sort of principle, really. I tried a few times, and I knew that it wasn't fucking going anywhere. So for the first time ever in this run, I called a real-life human in to help me with the shit. But don't worry, because that is not going to happen again. It went exactly as I planned. The guy that I summoned in had a fucking shield, and he was blocking... Dicks. I mean, I'm not even joking, man. There were fucking dicks everywhere flying all over the place. That guy didn't let one of them touch him. Uh, so he, he took the aggro and I did the fucking one-two lightning throw. And uh, Malekith, he, I mean, he was gone pretty quick, I'll be honest. It, it was scary for a little while because he, he came fucking chasing after me. He, he was pissed about the lightning and started chasing me down and shit. But other than that, fucking smooth sailing, son. This is where I made a fatal mistake. Because at this point, I thought, Ooh, here we go. We can go fight Radagon and end this fucking stupid run that I decided to do. No, no. One more before him. Godfrey. Yep, he's a he's a fucking... He's a person. So, yep, uh, we've got to fight Godfrey. First phase, not that bad. Got earthquakes and an axe. Second phase, motherfucker okay. just turns into Joe Rogan and starts <laughs> suplexing everyone everywhere. Uh, so, we've got that to look forward to. I think other than the Draconic Tree Sentinel so far, this was the longest boss fight I had. <laughs> Okay, I'm fucked. Okay, fuck. First thing that I figured out with this boss fight was that I could absolutely delete his first phase because now we're running a different set of talismans and I'll just take a sec to explain what they were. Talisman number one is Radigan Saucy. What that does is raise vigor, endurance, strength, and dexterity by five points. It also gives you a little bit more HP and stamina. The only downside is it increases the damage taken, but again, at this point, we get slapped about so hard anyway, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. Talisman number two is the Shard of Alexander, which greatly boosts the attack power of skills invaluable for us considering that we're literally relying on either unsheath or the bolt of grand sacks talisman number three is the godfrey icon which enhances charged spells and skills which means when you when you hold the bastard down <laughs> super power lightning bolt action and talisman number four is a pretty interesting one it's the dragon crest shield talisman what that does is greatly boosts physical damage negation i know that kind of contradicts what i was saying earlier but what this kind of does is counteract the bonus damage taken from the saw seal which means that sometimes we won't get killed in one. But I learned pretty quickly that when I first got through the door, using the tiles on the floor as spaces, I could throw one lightning bolt here and another lightning bolt here, and they were both guaranteed to hit him before he actually rushed over to attack me. I didn't really have his aggro yet at that point, so they were both guaranteed, and the amount of damage I was doing with these, nuts. Another thing that I quickly figured out about this fight is that he's got a lot of ground moves. Like, he, he, if, if he's chasing you down, he likes to do, like, a dash and a, and a stomp. And 
the stomp sends a shockwave across like the entire arena. But if I am mid animation with the Bolt of Grand Sacks, I'm suspended in the air. So that just goes right underneath me and I can lightning the bastard. Obviously, Godfrey the Fuckstick is known for his big earthquake attacks. What I quickly learnt was the animations are very, very obvious. With the Flask of Wondrous Physic active, which was still giving us a strength buff and a buff to lightning attacks, each bolt was doing about 2,000 damage. Now we're on to the actual problem of the fight. Again, Phase 2 comes out and Joe Rogan is here and he is pissed. He likes to throw you into the air and toss you about like a fucking pancake and then just slam your face down into the dirt like he's about to bum you. One thing I noticed about this one is that his earthquake attack is much bigger and way more devastating, but he always does like a Eren Jaeger type. Because I know he's going to do the jump after that, I can get a head start on running, which gives me enough time to throw lightning at the bastard. Um, and eventually, it worked. Nice. Godfrey the fuckstick dead. We're actually at the last boss. First of all, I didn't think this was ever going to happen. When I was struggling with the Margit fight right at the start of the game, I was like, there's no fucking way that this is actually going to happen. This is impossible. I started this on a whim and I'm never going to complete it because I'm a fuckstick, right? Incorrect. We're at Radagon. He's about to get fucked up. Let's do it. I was lying for the entire duration of what I can only call three hours of self-inflicted torture. I don't know if I've ever spent that long fighting a boss before. I've never particularly had much of an issue with Radagon's moveset. But what doesn't help is when you've got some guy in chat going, Ooh, now you've died 36 times. And don't worry, next time you die, I'm going to make sure it's a type of 37, just so you know how shit you are. You know who I'm talking about. Through literal hours of trial and error, I came to the conclusion that the mighty lightning just wasn't going to do what I needed it to do. This motherfucker was resistant to everything. Now, the issue was the Elden Beast. Fittingly renamed the Sea Beast by this sick cunt called Jod, and it shall remain the Sea Beast until the end of time. I killed Radagon a bunch of times and- I'm dead! Ooh! Fuck you, buddy. Sit the fuck down! It very quickly became apparent that the real issue here was the Sea Beast. He hit hard, and the slippery little shit just loves to run away. I got some shit RNG with the moves that he used, and to be honest, the lack of HP was the real issue here. Uh, instead of talking over the whole clip, I'll just let you watch it. Okay, who is this chasing? It's me! It's me! It's me! It's me! <laughs> Fuck! I hit him. You gotta hit him. You gotta hit him. You gotta hit him. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We're taming the sea beast! This is it! We're absolutely smashing it! This is it! The other beast is down! He's down! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, fuck. What I can comfortably tell you is that if it wasn't for in chat, there was no chance I was getting through that fight. Instead of laughing at me like every fucker else, this particular person decided to watch, analyze, and be like, you can definitely fit another hit in there, or maybe do this, or maybe do that. I probably landed another 200 unsheaths more than I would have done if it wasn't for that advice. So thank you for the advice. Thanks to the rest of chat for sticking out the stream, regardless of how painful it must have been to watch and providing top tier entertainment throughout because it would have been a fucking terrible three hours without it. Using nothing but the power of the Uji Katana that has literally taken us from the start of the game to the end of the game. I solo, no help, completely by myself, through the power of love and the heart of the cards, finish the game. This video has been a real test for me, and I'm so glad it's over, but I'm also so excited to start whatever's next. Thanks to those that stuck around till the end, and if this video gets 100 views and, and 10 likes, I'll gift a Steam voucher to a commenter or suck my own toes or some shit, I don't know. Thanks again, and I'll see you fuckers soon.